This is a 77-foot Allen. I've not been on one of these before. It's the first Allen yacht I have seen or stepped aboard, but it's actually really interesting. They make these in Turkey. This one is a 2023 boat, and I'm going to take you on board, and I'm going to do the full tour with you, show you everything. So we're going to step on here. Now, there's no high-low platform on here. What they have instead on this one is what's called a transformer. What that means is that this area here will lift, swing out and drop down into the water or up to the quay, but it will also transport a tender. And the tender lives in the garage. It's a Williams 345. That will slide out onto the transformer. Transformer launches it for you. So when it's all tucked away, it's actually a really neat installation. And in fact, I would imagine that you could keep a tender in there and then keep a jet ski on here if you wanted to, and then you could launch a jet ski and then get the tender out. I can't see why not. Anyway, let's take a look on board and I'll show you what this is all about. We've got um, this area here. You've got seating here, of course, but you could also sit looking out across the back if you wanted to. You could jump up on the side there. That's quite nice. Nice big dining area out the back. Very open because they've kept the overhang quite short. This is not really a flybridge boat. I'm saying that despite the fact it's got the ladder because there is a small flybridge but it's not designed as a flybridge boat they've simply used the area on the top deck as another area that you can actually use and i will take you up there and show you what i mean shortly we've got a hob out here we've got a fridge out here as well so that's quite a nice little bar area that one there is a sink that one there is my water my denison yachts water look at that so head on in then there's a little button over here and if we give it a prod That'll slide those fellows open, and this is really nice. Look at this. That is a very crisp, clean, classy looking interior, isn't it? I like that. We've got a folding table. You can see the hinges on the outside here, so that doubles in size. It's also height adjustable. You can see the adjustable telescopic leg for it there. Nice big comfy settee over here. There's also a TV that rises out from that back section. And then we've got a bar here as well. Interestingly, no galley on the main deck. It's a galley down layout. Don't see that so often these days, but it actually works quite nicely. If we press on forward a little bit further. So this is this bar area. We've got the wine cooler here. We've got the fridge. We've got the, the sink. And so, yeah, that's quite a nice spot, that, isn't it? So let's stand there and chat and dispense drinks and bonhomme. Very nice. And if we come right on round, of course, the helm is here as well. So this is the main helm position for the boat, although there is an upper helm as well. In fact, it's got a sliding roof above us. So this, we've got the blinds that will come back. Yeah, you can see it up behind there. There's a fly screen there as well. And then there's a button on here that says sunroof open, and that button opens the sunroof. <laughs> Not much gets past me, is there? I like the visibility. Look at this, this is great. So you've got a centre mullion there, that's fine, that's out of the way, but it really wraps around, the vision around to the sides is superb. And then multifunction displays, IPS on this one, so we've got a joystick control for close quarters manoeuvring, and then the normal engine controls here, bow thruster as well, and um, VHF radio and the usual bits and pieces, generator control, and so forth. It's nice though, isn't it? Simple, uncluttered. Rather lovely. Let's head on down to the lower deck. This is what I mean about the galley down layout. Now, of course, as ever, there are pros and cons with this. It takes you away from the party a little bit, but it also tucks everything out of the way. You don't sit there looking at your dirty dishes. Everything's down here. And what it also does, I think, rather brilliantly, is normally you come down these steps and it's corridors and everything feels very enclosed. This opens this whole area right out, particularly because you've got those big windows up above. So it's like an atrium. And that really does make this feel spacious down here when you come down. That works well. Dishwasher. <laughs> For those of you having bets on dishwashers. Fridge, freezer underneath, cooking. Cupboards. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word for them then. There we go, your crockery is in that one. For all you crockery fans. That's nice, isn't it? Decent size, very practical. What's that down there? A bit more storage, I suspect. Yes, it is. 
Excellent. So that is that. We've got three cabins down here, all en suite. So if we press on up to the bow, first of all, VIP guest cabin is up here. That's nice, isn't it? I think it's nicely trimmed in as much as it's very light and pale, but you've got these dark wood accents around the place just to give it a little bit of depth. You've got drawers under the bed, you've got a locker over on this side, you've got a hanging locker on this side, a little bit of shelving. And the other thing that you've got in here, of course, is an ensuite. That's in here. And that's a lovely size. Look at, look at that. Excellent. Big shower there, isn't it? Fantastic. There we go. Day heads then is here. Again, great size, great shower. But what they've done with this is put a doorway through this bulkhead so that at night it can be en suite. Through there to this cabin. Again, hanging drawers underneath, that kind of stuff. And a decent sized cabin. Big hole windows too. Good. Light switches. Um, that's the air conditioning controls just there. There we go. <laughs> Press it in little bleep. And then if we come back again, we will discover owner's cabin. And my phone going ping because I didn't turn it on to silent. That's... There we go. <laughs> turn that off. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yes, I was talking about cabins and this one being the owner's cabin. What I didn't mention was AV equipment. What they've done with this, I think I'm right in saying, because I don't know for certain, but I'm pretty sure that that mirror will have a TV behind it and the same up in the forward cabin. That's how they normally do it. When you see those mirrors that are a suspiciously television sized, that's usually why. This is storage long here, like so. Little bedside tables. Fantastic. And in here is a bit more storage and an access panel that someone's taken off to access some of the engineering space. Clearly there's a little bit of work going on there. Big wardrobes back here, look at this. Well, I say wardrobes, <laughs> shelving, I should say. Uh, there's your wardrobe. Superb. And then, of course, ensuite over here. Biggest one in the boat. Very nice, very nice. Bits of storage about a place for your toothpaste and so forth. A little mirror wave. Shower over on that side. That's all right, isn't it? Very good. Oh, that's interesting. We've got a C zone here. So that is, I hope it'll light up for us. No, it's not turned on, but that's a um, control system for the yacht. So you are able to access things here. Looks like the screen is damaged. In fact, what that is, is it's still got the bit of clear stuff. <laughs> Oh, it's always so delicious to peel off, isn't it? Best thing about buying anything electronic, that is peeling the little protective film off of the screens. Oh, fantastic. Right, I'm going to take us out of this door, I think. There we go. Pop-up cleats. So these will retract away, if you wish. And then what's nice is, there's no rails on the outside of here. What there is is really high bulwarks to keep you safe as you walk around the boat. Let's just close that and wide too, so it does feel very safe. These are for fenders, these little chaps here. So you push that little thing in the center and that will then pull out. So you tie a fender onto there. When you want to use it, that's how it is normally. That pushes in, the fender dangles down the side. Nifty, hey? And these allow you to put a bimini up here. So those are poles, bimini goes across, shades this area. We've got, well, obviously a seating area here. Oh, hello. <laughs> that sounded good. We can to edit that out later. We've got table here, big telescopic leg, so you can yeah. drop that down, infill that. In fact, we saw the infill cushions in the owner cabin um, uh, wardrobe. And that then makes into a big sunbathing area. We've also got another very comfortable seating zone up here in the front. 
And this is what I mean about the fact that it is a low profile sports boat look, but there is in fact a helm position and a bit of seating on the top. So we'll wander around and have a look at that. Speaker grills are here. And then on down this side again with the pop-up cleats. Very good. There we go. Alan Yacht, not come across them before. So these shows are so very interesting. So this set of steps here will take us up. And this is what's on the top. So they've not tried to go for a full on flybridge at all. All they're doing is saying, okay, there's a dead space up here. We might as well give you something useful to use that for. And so sunbathing here, a little bit of seating. There's a drawer fridge at the back, but also another helm. That's nice on a lovely sunny day, but it's also wonderful when you're maneuvering the boat. You can stand here, you've got your joystick, you've got your throttles, and of course you've got a fantastic view out all the way around you. So that is a nice thing. But as I say, they've not tried to make this a full-on flybridge boat. That's not what this is. And in fact, if we come all the way around, you can see that sliding roof now that we saw above the helm on the, uh, on the main deck. Brilliant. Okay, last thing to talk about then is engines. Now this size, 77 foot, is inevitably an owner-operator size. They have got a space that you could use as a crew cabin. To be honest, if you're going to use crew on a regular basis, you probably would be going for something a little bigger or at least less sporty than this and with more of a, a crew bent. But nonetheless, it does have this facility down here, which I'm going to take you down and show you. It also has a rather nice engine room. So we will wander down and I'll show you so what we've got down here then there is a little heads down here with a shower and some wet room and then a bit of storage there little seat here two beds over there but most people need to just use this as storage as they have on this one and also engine access is here. That's in through here. There's another ladder here that takes you straight back up to the cockpit. So you've got direct access from the cockpit or another route out. And this, considering it's got a tender gouge, which is what this fella here is, is actually pretty good. It's a nice walk around space. Engines are IPS 1350s. They are a thousand horsepower each, if I remember correctly. And they're giving the boat about 30 knots flat out and about a 22 knot cruise and at that sort of speed you're looking at about 400 miles as ever and drop it back to the basement speeds you'd probably triple that range this is a glendinning system these are excellent so that's for your shore power lead it coils up there electrically very very helpful device indeed generator lives down here as well that's over here and then we can come over here and find another generator, which is unusual in the 77 foot boat. And another engine. There we go. Hot water tank, that kind of stuff. But it's all pretty get edible, isn't it? You can get down between the centre there as well, of course. Like that. That's not bad, is it? Brilliant. OK, there we go. Let's come out of here. Back into this area. We'll close that one back up. And I will pop my head back out of here. Okay. Let's close that back down. There we go. And we'll put that over there. Let's take you around onto the bow. And we'll finish off up here. So, what do you think of that? I think that's a bit different, I think it's rather smart. But I will be interested to hear your thoughts. I want to say huge thanks to Denison Yachts, they've got this one for sale, and I'll put a link to those guys in the description. And huge thanks, of course, to you all for watching. If you've not subscribed, do me a favour and hit that bell, because we're so close to half a million and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, help get me over the edge, if you'll pardon the expression, and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.